In this video, we will decide which radio button to select based on the value of the FLD user role field of the database. So let's return to Confusion Builder, and I'm here in the useredit.cfm file. The radio buttons are on line 35, but first let's make the code a little bit more readable. So I will go at the end of the first radio button right here. It enters, so I have the two radio buttons on two different lines, and that will make my coding a little bit easier. What I need to do is adding the checked attribute of the CF input tag, and I want to make it equal to true or to false depending on the role of the user. So first, let's add the checked attribute to that first radio button, and I will make the value of that attribute equal to some dynamic data, and more precisely to the result of the IF function. IIF allows you to create a CF if CF else like structure but inside a single line of code, hence the name of the function, inline if, IIF. Now this function takes three arguments. The first one is a Boolean condition, so a condition that returns true or false. And in this case, I want to verify if the user to edit dot FLD user role is equal to 2, because the first radio button is used for the administrators and sends the value 2 to the database. So that's for the first argument of IIF. Now the second argument is a value if the Boolean condition returns true. So that's the IF part of the statement. In that case, I want checked to be true. Now the last argument is a value if the boolean condition returns false, so that's the else part of the statement, and in that case I want the checked attribute to be false, like that. I will copy paste that code to the second radio button and change that true value here to that dynamic value. The only thing that I will change is that I need to verify here if the role is equal to 1, because the second radio button is used for the regular users, and that corresponds to the role number 1 in the database. Now let's save useredit.cfm, I will run it in the browser, because I do not pass a user ID URL parameter, I am redirected to user.cfm. I will click on any of those two view links here to view the form, and you can see that the form is filled with the current data of the user, and you see that this particular user is a user, it's not an administrator. If I take a look at the code as received by the browser, you will see that Confusion has processed the CF input type equal radio and added the checked equal checked HTML attribute that is the HTML version of checked equal true in Confusion, and has not added that checked attribute here for the first input. So that's the result of my IIF function. You are now ready to return to the PDF file and to continue the development of the user's administration of the site. In the next video, I will show you the basics of error handling in Confusion.